very important occasion as a step towards the realization and actualization of uh, the partnership that we have between Meta and Kenya. We've had numerous uh, conversations, consultations, engagement, as uh, uh, Clegg has said, on various items. I'm very happy that today we are progressing that conversation to reality on many aspects. The teams we have here, you've heard from Putita there, they've really been on my case uh, on how we can innovate more this space, expand opportunities in this space, um, make it easy for monetization. Uh, Jay Moore there, he calls himself Ulemze, I'm a Ulemze, uh, has also been you know, ever present whenever we are having uh, this conversation. Did I see a winger somewhere? Oh yeah, right at the corner there. So all these people have never given me peace, but I'm very happy that today, the commitments that we made, and uh, Facebook is here, the Meta Group are here, to work with us on various aspects. Number one, as was said ably here, in a few weeks, in a couple of weeks, many of you will be eligible. The eligibility criteria will be now available for content creators in Kenya. That's a big step in making sure that our content creators, the people who operate in the digital space, have an opportunity to monetize their, to monetize their talent, to give themselves additional revenue. And I'm truly grateful to Facebook for working with us this journey. Um, secondly, as I've, I've now gotten a commitment from uh, Clegg and uh, the Meta team that by June, all our creators will uh, now have an opportunity to really monetize everything that they do in that space, put ads, make sure they can access Instagram and the, and the, and the uh, commerce around it, and it speaks to our bottom-up economic transformation agenda on making sure that we give everybody a chance right from the bottom. And I am very happy that this is moving in the right direction. I want to encourage a Meta Group. If we can do it before June, somewhere in the middle here, it would be a very welcome uh, surprise to many of these uh, good people. As you, can, as you can hear them speak, they, they are very eager, they, they are already in that space. And uh, the very positive thing I keep hearing from the people in the digital space, they keep telling me, you know, we're going to make this much money minus tax. It's going to be so much. <laughs> I am very happy that everybody is now becoming conscious about making sure that we pay our taxes because it's the only way we can sustain and maintain our independence as a country. Um, thirdly, um, I'm also very happy that um, the monetization exercise is also going to be available on M-Pesa. I think many people uh, have been wondering how do we do this? Because not many of our content creators have, um, have uh, um, credit cards or other instruments, financial in nature, but uh, I was very happy to hear that the team from Meta have already uh, carried out experiments and that it works. And therefore, in the next few uh, weeks and months, it will now be possible for our content creators to transact using the M-Pesa platform, which is a much more easy, accessible, you know, and uh, um, a space where many Kenyans interact much more freely and much more comfortably. So again, that is one step that would make it much more easier for our content creators across Kenya and many people participating in this space. Let me also give um, uh, my commitment to the entrepreneurs in this space 
people in the SME space that we are working with uh, Meta Group and all the other um, actors in this space to make it much more easier for our MSMEs to understand how they can do business, how they can conduct their uh, enterprises in the digital space, how we can create more entrepreneurs in the digital space, how we can use um, uh, the digital space and the capabilities that can be obtained in that space to assist our micro, small and medium enterprises to scale up their businesses. I have offered also opportunities to a meta group that Kenya is already in uh, consultations with other actors. We're shortly going to have um, a one gigawatt um, data center complete with cloud infrastructure. We are already, uh, we've already broken ground on it. And using our renewable energy, we want to make Kenya a fast in green data centers that will again be available for uh, companies like um, the Meta Group to have a conversation, especially since we are uh, discussing around the capabilities that artificial intelligence can bring into this space to give additional leverage to entrepreneurs, to business people, to content creators, to do more with a lot of ease. I want to assure you that uh, we're going to work with you to make sure that that space is not cornered by a few people, that that space continues to be an, an open space, and we're going to support your policy on making the AI capabilities available on open source so that more uh, people, especially in the global south, in Africa, in Kenya, can have access rather than have access when they have to pay. So again, you, uh, we're going to work with you and uh, I'm, I'm very confident that we're going to expand this space and there will be sufficient opportunities for us to create equity, access to jobs, access to opportunities. Again, I want to thank Meta for um, offering to consider Kenya for some of the uh, BPOs that will be trying to find a home. I want to uh, tell you that we are reworking the legislation in Kenya to make it much more easy for um, people who work in the BPO space to be able to uh, work with Kenyan young people as you look for homes for some of the opportunities. Uh, I want to welcome you to Kenya. We have a very uh, knowledgeable, very well-trained, educated, very good English, hard-working, innovative, creative young population in Kenya that can take up anything. And I am very happy that you're also keen, and then I want to commend uh, Meta Group alongside all the other players for being keen on safety and making sure that we have the right content and we do not have content that uh, can be abused in that space. Again, we're going to work with you. The government of Kenya is going to deploy whatever resources we have to work with you to make sure that that space is secure and we minimize uh, content that is undesirable. So again, Clegg, your, you and your team, you're always at home while in Kenya. Please, if there is anything additionally that you think we can do to uh, expand and uh, make this partnership robust, my team here is available. I am available for us to work together in a win-win um, fashion that would make everybody a winner. Thank you very much. My very best wishes. Asante.